The wavelength is the distance from one peak to another peak. SI, the unit of wavelength, is meters. And I can see wavelengths between 330 and 770 nanometers. A nanometer is a billionth of a meter. The eyes see different colors depending on the wavelengths. The wavelengths of the different colors are red, 625 to 740 nanometers, orange, 590 to 625 nanometer, yellow, 565 to 590 nanometer, green, 520 to 565 nanometer, cyan, 500 to 520 nanometer, blue, 435 to 500 nanometer, violet, 380 to 435 nanometer. White light consists of all colors. Electromagnetic waves between 100 and 400 nanometers are called ultraviolet light and border on violet color. This light is invisible to the eye, but those exposed to it can suffer small wounds on the cornea of the eye. If a person is exposed to UV radiation for a long time, it can lead to skin cancer. The shorter the electromagnetic waves, the more dangerous they are. Therefore, ultraviolet light has been divided into three different categories. UVA, 315 to 400 nanometers. UVB, 280 to 315 nanometers. UVC 100 to 280 nanometers. The sun's ray contains all kinds of UV radiation, but the ozone layer exists to protect all living life on Earth from it. The ozone layer filters out all UVC radiation and some UVB radiation. It cannot filter out all UVB or UVA radiation, making it dangerous to sunbathe for a long time. If a person sunbathes for a protracted period, it can lead to skin cancer. UV lamps and fluorescent lamps intended for sunbeds use special quartz glass, which transmits UV radiation. The surface of these light sources is then usually coated with a violet filter, which allows UVA radiation to pass through, but filters out all UVC radiation and part of the UVB radiation, thus reducing the risk of damage to skin. UV radiation can also be used during tooth whitening. First, a layer of strong whitening agent is applied to the teeth, which are then illuminated with UV radiation. By illuminating the teeth, the tooth whitening agent heats up and makes the active ingredient in the tooth whitening agent work faster. Electromagnetic waves between 700 and 1000 nanometers are called infrared light and border on red in color. These electromagnetic waves are used in society today. Infrared radiation is used in night vision equipment, such as thermal imaging cameras, when there is not enough visible light to see an object. The radiation is detected and converted into an image on screen. Infrared radiation can also be used to measure and estimate the temperature of different objects or areas. Different areas will have different colors depending on temperature. Are you interested in learning and watching more 3D animated videos? Go to keplerlearning.se or our page on udemy.com. Links can be found in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button.